In this video I'm going to show you how to back up your WordPress site in a cloud storage. For example, Google Drive, Dropbox, pCloud, OneDrive and so on. Also, I'm going to show you how to restore your site from the cloud and if needed, how to restore it selectively. That means you don't have to restore all sites. Maybe you would like to restore only the plugins. So if you're interested, then jump in because it's going to take only a couple of minutes. Now let's get into it. And that means we're going to go to the plugins and add new. Next, search for a plugin called WP Vivid. This one here. Install it and activate it. Since I already have created a thorough video about how to use this plugin, how to backup and restore your site, and I also showed how to migrate your site, I'm going to skip this part. If you're interested, then take a look at the description of this video. There is a link to the video. In this video, I'm just going to make a brief overview. First thing, let's go to the settings. Set up how many backups you would like to be retained. Usually I leave everything here as it is. And save. If your web host is a slow one and you bump into problems, then enable optimization for hosting, shared hosting. This will improve the backup success rate, but it will take a, a bit more time for backup. I'm not going to do that at the moment. And here you can set the file sizes to be compressed. Now let's go to the remote storage tab. And first let's connect the Google Drive. As you see, there's a authenticate with Google Drive. I'm going to press on this button. Pop up appears. I'm going to select my account I would like to use. Now it asks whether you will allow the access to your site. I'm going to keep continue. Now I'm going to log back in. And as you see, there is set authentication is done. Please continue to enter the storage information, then click add now button to save it. So I'm going to give the backup a title, WP Vivid Backup. All backups will be uploaded to this directory. And if you would like to rename the site, you need a pro feature. Later, I'm going to show you what the pro plugin can do for us. So everything is done. Let's click on save now. Now let's connect the Dropbox. Once again, authenticate with Dropbox. I'm going to log in. Once again, it asks the permissions. I'm going to click hello. And the same thing. I will have to add the name to identify this backup. And it's done. One more thing. Dropbox will send you an email that a new web browser just signed into your Dropbox account and they would like to verify whether it was you or someone else. Just press on the yes button here and this will confirm the access to your Dropbox site. Otherwise you will see the error message on your WP Vivid remote storage settings. Next, let's connect the Microsoft OneDrive. Once again, I'm going to authenticate it. I'm going to allow the access. I'm going to log back in. As you see, basically the similar process for every one of them. Now, as you see, there is a WP Vivid backup I entered and this one here. If I add the same name, it says the alias already has been added. Therefore, let's give it this title here. I don't have a Amazon S3 or digital ocean accounts. Therefore, I'm not going to show you how to do that. But basically the process should be fairly simple. Just enter your credentials here, test and add. Same with Amazon and you're done. I'm not going to show you how to add FTP or SFTP because it's also straightforward. Just enter your FTP server credentials here and add your storage. Now, as you see, Microsoft OneDrive is selected. That means this one here is a default remote storage. If I select the Google Drive to be the default one, then just mark the checkbox here. Under the actions, you can delete or edit your storage information. And if you would like to back up your site to the storage, then go to the backup and restore. Select send backup to the remote storage. The one you have selected will appear 
here as you see as a default this one is activated here if I select OneDrive then this one is here activated the same goes with a Dropbox now it's here so I'm gonna select the Google Drive save changes backup restore I have a blank site therefore it should go fairly quickly I'm gonna backup I have chosen database and files but I can also choose WordPress files excluded database or only database it took only approximately 20 seconds to backup now I'm gonna log into my Google Drive and see what happened over there as you see there is a backup folder here it's uploaded today the file size I can download it here or I can restore it here for example let's make a quick test I'm gonna go to the teams I'm gonna activate 2020 team I'm gonna create a site here with random text I'm gonna publish go back to my site as you see this one here is created by me a moment ago I'm gonna go to backup and restore I'm gonna select the remote storage I used a minute ago therefore I'm gonna click on restore next one I'm gonna click on re retrieve the backup to the local host it's gonna download the file and depending on your site size it may take a while but as you saw my compressed file size is 24 megabytes therefore it should not take as long from the log you see what's happening here next message I see is download is succeeded it took approximately one minute to do so next one I'm gonna press restore are you sure you want to continue yes I, I am and the magic starts it took approximately 10 seconds now let's take a look appearance old theme is activated and if I go under the pages you'll see that the page I created before is deleted now this was the free version of the WP Vivid but WP Vivid has also a pro version and here are some of the main benefits of the pro version it has a better staging options you can create a staging sites it has better include or exclude options for the backups and for the restoration you can set up the auto backup before the updates or rollbacks you have more cloud storage options you have flexible backup retention rules you can white label your site you can set up the roles and capabilities multi-site support and so on and if you would like to know what are the pricing plans then click on the see plans button here if you open up the pricing page you'll see that yearly package for two sites is $49 and for unlimited sites $149 there is also a lifetime package 99 for two sites and for unlimited sites 299 but if you take a look at the description of this video there is also a link you can use to get a nice 20 percent discount for all the pricing plans just use the link and use the coupon code you see in the video description now i'm gonna install a pro version and this way i can show you what can it do for us so let's compare the free and the pro one this one here is a free version this one here is a pro version as you see we have also a pcloud here s3 compatible storage wasabi and backplace storage as a remote storage if i would like to connect it with a pcloud i just click on it choose the region i have set up in my account i have united states activate it i'm gonna click on activate with pcloud i'm gonna log in And once again it asks whether I allow access to the P cloud. I'm gonna allow it. I'm gonna give it a title as before. I can choose the block size of uploads and downloads. I'm gonna set it to 10 megabytes and add now. Done. Since this site is a different one, I now only have the P cloud activated here. What else it can do for us? For example, I can set what it is I would like to backup whether full sites files or database with a free version I can't do that the same goes with the restoration 
let's make a manual backup here as you see for the pro version I can choose what folders to include or exclude I'm going to make a full backup here right now because I would like to show you how to restore selectively this can't be done with a free version since this site has more information it will take a bit longer to complete the backup but as I said before the backup speed depends on the hosting you have and the site size you have now the congratulation exporting the site succeeded message is here that means everything is okay let's take a look at the restoration here I have a bunch of files here if I would like to restore this site and use the backup I just created I'm gonna click on restore and if I click on next I can choose what files I would like to be restored this can't be done with a free version for example if I would like to roll back my teams I just select all other options here and I can restore my teams maybe I would like only the Bloxy team to be restored therefore I'm gonna deselect the other ones because it's gonna make the restoration faster the same goes with the plugins here and if everything is done I'm gonna just press on restore now button and it works its magic I can even select the database tables to be restored just open it up deselect the ones you don't like to be restored and once again press on restore now button as with the free version I have also created a thorough video in it I'm gonna compare what is the difference between the free and the pro version but it's an awesome plugin I use it all the time so if you would like to use the pro feature then use my coupon code you see on the video description and it will take you 20% off now before you go take a look at the screen because there is a video I have talked about a couple of times already if you like the video then press thumbs up and if you have any other questions then let me know in the comments meanwhile take care